Peace and blessings be with you. It's your servant, Akila Nis. So I live here in Kenya, in a rural area of Kenya, part-time. And uh, in this area, there is no uh, city water or piped water. So we use uh, boreholes or wells to get our water uh, in this area. Uh, and I am putting in a well in my front yard. So I want to share the experience with you going step by step to show you how we build a well using old school methods. Please remember to uh, hit the subscribe button and to give me a thumbs up. Thank you very much. Peace and blessings be with you. Uh, so I'm having a well put in here. Started yesterday. Move some sand here. Down. making the circumference for the wall this will be the inside and now put in cement to make a and make a level to start placing the blocks on the cement to make a circle for the wall okay now starting to put the first row of blocks. Okay, almost finished the first row, just for the positioning of the blocks. Okay, the fundi is making sure that the blocks are straight. Up and down. Now the phone is filling the spaces with cement and using it the board map to keep the cement within the area. That's the mid, it's mid, it's mid. On to the second row. The first row has been cement has been put there to keep it together, and now the second row is being positioned. We have four rows one, two, three, four, four rows, and one step. So the step is a chuma or iron bars. And it's a, a rubber hose. It's inserted into a rubber hose that will stop it from rusting, from the water evaporating, or any water dripping on it. it will keep the uh, juma strong. Now they're making something called juqua. This is uh, so they can use this to stand on to build the next row of blocks up. Now he's continuing with this rope where the poles are. He'll just put a small block there so they can continue the row. Fundi has gone up about three rows. I think we may put one more layer of uh, one more row of blocks. Then let it dry. And after that, we have to dig down inside till we catch water, remove enough sand, and let the well drop down. And then add some more rows of blocks. We're making progress here. We're above ground now. Now he's filling the small holes where the poles were. How is he going to get out? Uh, we'll see.
Nashville. Miami, the world has gone down. down. And we're removing the sand to let the water come out. Uh, you end up dropping as well about three rows of blocks. So we have about three feet of water there, three to four feet. Okay, so we have dug to we have water. It's about uh, two and a half feet of water here. By tomorrow, maybe about three feet. The water has been rising a little bit. You can see the last chuma there, or iron bar. The water was probably about um, three inches below, but now it's risen three inches. So tomorrow, uh, we'll just continue, make sure the well is straight up and down and then uh, fill in the sides here with sand and build back up about four rows of blocks and then the well, that part of the job for the well is done. After that, I have to make a house here for the pump and then make a cover for the well. Hello. We have now dropped the well and filled in around the well with sand. And now the fundi will build up around four rows of blocks to make the well taller. Hmm. It's still building, but one and a half rows up. Or one and a quarter rows up. And we should finish building our rows today and then fill in the rest of the sand here. Almost finished the wall of the well. This is the top layer, the last layer, I mean row of blocks. And see here, small opening. This will be for the pipe from the pump uh, to go down into the well. Actually going to have a underground pump. It's going to be under the ground here in a chamber. We are getting closer to completing the well. So this is ground level now. This is the top of the well. So tomorrow we have to take out the water, uh, take out some sand, level it and let the water rise back up. And likely tomorrow when we do that the well will drop a block. So this block will be down, just leaving this block here, this row of blocks. And then uh, we will then make a cover. Oh, before we make the cover, we have to make a chamber here for the pump. I'm going to have the pump underground. So the top of it will be level with the ground and inside the chamber there will be the pump and the pipe from the pump will go through this opening here down into the well and then we make the cover the cover is going to be uh you can take it off it's not going to be fixed to it so it's going to be a large cover um and be an opening uh, metal door so you can go down and use the steps here to go down. We are making the cover now. This is a chuma or iron rods. And this will be the foundation for the cover. Now they are tying together the bars with binding wire to fix the bars in place. Now we are preparing to make the cover. Now we're fixing the handles and starting to pour. This is cement and kokoto. You see the rock here? This is so that the chuma is not on the ground when they put the cement in. So this is raising the chuma off the ground. Pull 
throwing away the blocks. We need these blocks because over here you have to make a chamber where he's digging there. So he's removing the blocks here to use there for the chamber. Here he's digging the chamber. Not he's digging the hole so he can put the chamber here that's gonna hold the pump. So now we're starting to build the wall for the chamber. Fundi is doing smoothing now. We have completed the well. This is the cover for the well. It's still drying. Take about five days to completely dry. Uh, this is the second day. Uh, this is the chamber. Let me just make the cover for the chamber here and it's still dry. My well is completed <coughs> and my cover for the well is completed and my cover for the chamber that houses my pump is completed. I have one more day of letting this dry. So here's my well. Pump is installed. See here, temporary cover here. And there's the pump. Job almost completed. Just have to wait for the covers to dry and place the covers on and everything is good to go. So what is nice is the pump is off, but once I turn on the water, oh, okay, just got wet. <laughs> the pump came on and I hope you can hear it. And now it's shut off. So any of the taps that are open, the water comes on automatically. Then when I close the taps, the pump shuts off. Uh, I'm having a door built for my well, for the top. So this piece here is the frame. My well is completed. So had this door made for the well. There's water there. The pump is under here. Too heavy for me just to open the lid now. But this here is a vent to get air in and out of the well. So we need to have this uh, when you have the pump running so you don't create a vacuum. You don't make a vacuum. Uh, the pump is inside the chamber there. So uh, it's done. My well, cover, chamber, cover, vent. It's all made and everything is finished. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and to give me a thumbs up. Thank you.